Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Pay. You probably know me from TikTok, and it's been a while since I posted a video on here. I'm sorry about that, y'all. If you've been waiting on a video, I apologize, but I'm back. I back. Trust me, I back. Today, I'm gonna be talking about a topic that I've been talking about on TikTok for a while now, and it's an agenda that I wanna push. Uh, so I came to bring it to YouTube because people don't really take anything you say seriously on TikTok, but for some reason they take it a lot more serious on YouTube. That's here, ne right, neither here nor there. Um, but I wanna talk about one of the most disrespected, respected rappers of all time. And that is Chief Keith. And I know you're probably like, what does that even mean? Like that's an oxymoron, most disrespected, respected rapper of all time. What? Let me explain. On the internet, people talk about Chief Keith and his influence and how all these new rappers are his sons and how, you know, the world changed in 2012 when Chief Keith dropped Don't Like and everything was just different. But the love is incredibly fake. A lot of these dudes don't even like Chief Keith for real. Or they don't even really listen to his music outside of Finito and Love Sosa and Hate Being Sober and Don't Like. And at the very furthest, they've listened to Finally Rich. And I'm not even saying this like I'm some huge Chief Keef day one fan and you know, I'm a diehard Sosa fan and all that, like, no, I'm a fan and I like his music and I recognize his impact on rap, but I'm not gonna be out here faking it like he's my favorite artist of all time or he's in my top three. Because people mention Chief Keef's name as a way to validate their opinions or to make it seem like they know what they're talking about. Like, if you ask somebody who's below the age of 35, who's one of the best and most influential rappers of like the 2010s till now, they damn near feel like they have to say his name, like it's damn near like a, a right answer, even though music is subjective and there is no technically 100% right answer. And it's kind of like when you ask somebody under 30 who the best rapper of all time is, and they're kind of scared to give their full opinion, you know, they don't really want to cause an argument, so they just say Tupac, you know? You can just say Tupac because that's probably like the most generally correct, you know, answer, and it's probably the most common answer, and it's an answer that you won't get a whole bunch of pushback for, despite the fact that you didn't even experience him in his prime. You just, you know, you've listened to Tupac, you may have listened to all of his albums and all of his music, but you didn't even really get to experience Tupac. But a lot of people will still say Tupac is the greatest rapper of all time just to avoid the confrontation. And it's 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 similar with the Chief Keef situation. The fake love goes extremely hard on social media. It's it's actually ridiculous. You see it everywhere. Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, everywhere. People treat him like he's the GOAT. They treat him like he's the best rapper of all time, but they don't go and stream his music. Like, they will talk till they are blue in the face about Ooh. how Chief Keef is the best rapper ever but won't listen to his music and you know you can look at somebody like a young boy and his fan base and how much they talk about him and why be better why be better and they'll be in everyone's comment section commenting that but when it's time for him to drop some music they're gonna be there and they're gonna stream that music they're gonna show up for their artist they're gonna give him the support that he actually wants or actually needs not just talking about him on social media and yeah, I mean, you could even go a little bit further back and look at the Barb's back in the day when the Barb's were running Twitter and terrorizing people and ruining lives on Twitter. When Nikki was dropping something, oh, they was gonna show up. Best believe that. They was gonna show up. They was gonna buy the album 26 times. They was gonna send it as a Christmas gift to their nieces and nephews. All that. They was gonna do all that. They was gonna do whatever it took to get Nikki's numbers a lot higher than they were. But that's always been a major problem for Chief Keith. He's never had the crazy numbers that he should. Like, he's had great numbers, don't get me wrong. He's had great numbers on, on YouTube with his music videos. But in terms of like all around numbers, they've just never been that great for Chief Keith. He only has three Hot 100 Billboard hits. And I guarantee you, like I would probably bet my life that you cannot guess what his highest charting song is. I'm not gonna bet my life, I, I take that back. I shouldn't say that. But you cannot guess what his highest charting song is. And I will give you time. Go ahead, think about it. Don't look it up. Just think about it. Hmm. In my mind, what is Chief Keef's highest charting song? Okay. Did you give you did, did you give an answer? Because the answer is Bean by Lil Uzi featuring Chief Keef. Yeah, the Bean, the Kobe song. You know, the song on Eternal Take, the song that isn't Chief Keef's. That's his highest charting song, and it peaked at 19. 19. Chief Keef does not have a top 15, top 10 hit. That's ridiculous. It's Chief Keef. And finally, Rich, still to this day, 
is his highest charting album with a peak of 29 on the Billboard Top 200 or Billboard 200 albums, whatever you want to call it. It's also his best selling album with 50K first week sales. It's to the point in which his latest album, Phone Him, which was a very, very good project that I enjoy and still listen to to this day. A lot of people didn't even know it came out. A lot of people still probably don't even know it came out. And it's a very good project with a different sound that's already having influence on other artists like Summers. And it peaked at 141. And I literally, I, I promise you, I've looked on multiple occasions, multiple times since the album has came out. I literally cannot find the first week numbers for that album. Literally can't find them. And obviously numbers aren't everything. And I understand that having crazy numbers doesn't make you a great artist because a lot of Chief Keeps music is great despite the fact that the numbers don't show it. But it should be there. The numbers should be there with the way people talk about him. That's my main issue. My main issue isn't, oh, Chief Keep doesn't do great numbers because not everyone's gonna do great numbers. Great artists don't always do great numbers. But it's the fact that so many people talk up this tree like he's just the best and don't go stream his music, bro. It's the most ridiculous thing ever. It's the most ridiculous thing ever. You can't talk and show all this love and not really be rocking with him. Like, it's ridiculous. All that live, laugh, Sosa stuff or, or whatever it was on TikTok, that stuff was super cringy because y'all can show this man love on an app where you don't even contribute to his streams. But when it's time to go stream it, y your ears is closed. You sleep. What's going on? There's too many mouths stepping up and being opened about how much they love Chief Keith, but not enough ears on the music. People just want to feel smart or, or better than others by praising Chief Keef. And it's honestly, it's nasty behavior, if I'm being honest. Like, it's way more disrespectful than just not listening to him. It's way more disrespectful to gas him up, talk about him, do this, this, and that, and then just not listen to the dude. Because what are you even talking about? What, what do you even know about his music to really even be talking about him? You just know that, hey, this guy's influential. He had a couple of great songs that I know, and he's the right answer in terms of guys that have been influential, guys that have done crazy things at young ages, guys that have had crazy impacts on this generation. Like, it's it's ridiculous how many people really don't rock with Chief Keep, and you see it in his numbers. You, you'll see, you know, a couple of months he'll be trending, you know, he'll have a song trending or whatever on TikTok, and people will be talking about him, and oh my God, Chief Keep's really the GOAT, man. But when it's time to drop that album, crickets every time and it's really nasty and chief keep really deserves better he really does he deserves better and he, des he deserves numbers like a little dirk right now he de he deserved that at, cer at a certain point in his career he deserved to have an album selling 100k and doing this this and that he deserved that but he never got it and my my main guess is for one you know obviously he wasn't as marketable back then people weren't as accepting to that type of image back then you know, a couple of 10 years ago, five, five, seven years ago. But also there's a lot of fake love. But that's just my opinion. I'm just some dude on the internet. So don't take what I'm saying too serious. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it and have a great day.